Man, I have been waiting for this day for a long time. What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's upload is gonna be awesome. It's early morning here, so the sun hasn't really come up yet. I'm waiting for Brian, because we gotta jump in the F-150, because we gotta take delivery of the new car. Now while we're waiting for Brian, it's a perfect opportunity to talk about the next awesome announcement in today's video. Finally, finally, finally. The new merch site is live. Finally hats. I've had millions of you guys ask about hats over the years. And this is the flat bill one. The sample hat that I've had for a while now that I've been wearing in several videos is a performance fit one. So this is a different material. Definitely my favorite. I'm not really much for the flat bills, but the rest of the world seems to be, except for me. So I'm wearing this right here. Now the site is shopautoblog.com. We got tons of like variety of cool stuff. Like this is a tumbler. We've been working so hard on this site. Now this is an actual merch site. It's not just, you know, Teespring selling t-shirts and stuff like that. We've been working so hard that I haven't even had time to get samples of everything, which is why I'm wearing an old hoodie, but we got new hoodies black camo, we got sweatpants, we got baseball tees, we got three quarter sips, t-shirts of course, we got key tags, and also for the first 50 people to order off of shopautoblog.com, you get a free tire pressure gauge, like a keychain style one, it's awesome. So if you've been waiting to uh, pick up a hat, tumbler, t-shirt, hoodie, whatever it is, go to shopautoblog.com, see if you find something you like and pick it up. And another thing that people have been asking me about, probably more than hats, is decals or stickers. See, I have one on the back window of the F-150 here as well. I don't know if you guys can see that in this lighting and with this lens, I can't really zoom either. But I have one on the sliding rear window on the F-150. Now, Brian just called me. <laughs> he was gonna come here in his M4 and then he got a flat tire. So he had to get the car home and then jump in one of his hoopties. So we're just waiting here. And as soon as he comes, I'm gonna give him one of the hats. So he'll be one of the first people to actually get a hat. All right, I'll see a Suzuki, I think. See a Suzuki, I think. There he is. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah, that only makes sense. You want me to park it here? Yeah, right here. Pretty, pretty maxed out for space here. Oh, it's going to be a mess for sure. What's up? <laughs> Brian. <laughs> you guys heard that, right? It just like plopped open. Dude, what's up with your fuel cap here, man? It's my custom rod there. <laughs> Like gave me this for free two years ago for me to destroy in the woods. She wasn't uh -huh. planning on me driving it. That fuel door was just laying in there, uh, so I okay. jammed the pin back in there, but it's not in the right spot. I mean, here, it's a gift for you, right? What? You, oh, you, yeah, well, you're one of the first nice. ones. Nice. That's sweet. Yeah, I gave one to the other Brian, the one I know, day. I'm like... Yeah, but he <laughs> he's a freaking hat connoisseur. That's why I went to him. Connoisseur. Yeah. So well, you wear... You, this sweet. is a large, extra large. That's what you wear, right? No. Medium? Medium. Well, I got a medium. I'll no. give you a medium. Yeah, well, Sweet. Well, Boom. Look at that. Brian has a small head, so we got a small medium. All right, looks good, man. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so we've driven 178 miles. We got about 40 miles left. And someone's <laughs> stomping on the brakes over here. We're not getting good gas mileage. And I guess I'm gonna give one more clue before we pick up the new car. The new car doesn't get good gas mileage either. <laughs> That's what you need, more cars to get bad gas mileage. <laughs> but it's getting close, it's getting close, and I'm super, super freaking excited. All right, so after 213 miles, we're in the city of Amherst, New York, which is basically Buffalo. We're at Northtown Toyota. You ready, B? I'm so ready. I'm excited like a mother <laughs> Can't even put the oh. truck in park. Man. Yeah. All right, so what have I bought? <laughs> <laughs> well, we did drive here in the F-150 for a reason. So, I mean, I've had a lot of issues with the F-150 um, over the years. Some minor, some major. And, uh, you know, I mean, what I hear is that the best brand, the most reliable brand when it comes to trucks is Toyota. So here we have a Voodoo Blue Toyota Tundra, which is very nice looking. I love this color, but I'm not gonna be baiting you guys. I haven't 
gotten a Toyota Tundra. We're not trading the F-150 in. If you follow me on Instagram, when I posted when I was here, I left a clue that, you know, I'm at a Toyota dealership. The main guess that came from you guys, the main guess <laughs> was indeed, boom, a Toyota Supra. But if you know me and the channel, you know, I have not bought a Toyota Supra. I mean, it's a cool car and everything, but it doesn't really do it for me. It's not a Toyota Supra. Brian likes Supras, though. Ah, darn. Why are you taking a picture of a Supra? They're gonna post it on my Instagram and tell them I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, enough baiting, enough baiting. Let's just get to which car this is. We're standing here right by the service department. They're gonna pull the car out. And finally, you can see the new car on the channel. Sounds pretty cool for a Toyota. Ooh. Man, that, that's a... That's a 30 Toyota. That, that's a good sounding Toyota, I gotta say, but... Of course it's not a freaking Toyota. <laughs> we got an AMG back on the channel. Look at this. If you guys were following the clues, little hints I was given in the previous video, I said it's something that I haven't had before, sort of because I haven't had the 204. And this is the car that actually got me into C63 specifically, is this car right here. Look at this thing. I started looking for C63 204s. I figured I would find a sedan. I couldn't really find any nice sedans online to buy, and I found this coupe here at Northtown Toyota. Look at this thing. It's immaculate, or I mean as immaculate as you can get for a 2012. This thing is sick. I'm coming in. The winter's not over here in Buffalo. <laughs> in New York, it's not over. <laughs> yes, I absolutely love this car. We're actually on our way home already because it's cold and we got stuff to do at home. But I haven't even told you guys anything about this car. So it's a 2012 C63 AMG and it's a coupe. The design of this car is just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. We got quad tip exhaust. And while we're talking about the exhaust, I might as well mention that already, I have an exhaust coming from my favorite exhaust manufacturer and that is FI exhaust for this car. And when I tell you exhaust, it is, I mean, it's gonna be the most brutal thing I've ever done to a car. It's probably gonna be louder than the Ferrari. <laughs> neighbors are gonna be thrown. Yeah. Oh yeah, neighbors are gonna love me. How the hell do I pop the, where's the thing? There it is. So this is the M156. This is 451 horsepower, and I think it's around 440 pound-feet of torque. This engine is the OG C63 engine. I absolutely love it. I love the way it sounds. The power delivery is amazing. How does it sound, Brian? It sounds really good for a stock For a exhaust. stock exhaust, uh, it impressed. sounds amazing. Look, oil filter, super easy to get to. Yeah, <laughs> sweet. 61,000 miles, two owners, the car runs like phenomenally it's in really good condition i just feel like i luck out every time i buy a car like i find really good ones and i was gonna be like well all your cars break mike but <laughs> what i mean is they look good they're in good condition and i'm just so happy finally we have an amg back on the channel i apologize for all the trolling thinking that it was a toyota when i posted on instagram you know i figured you know when i said this is a clue of course it was a very far-fetched clue I mean, I bought the car at the Toyota dealership. It was traded in there. 
I, can't, I don't know for why. What are you trading an AMG for at a Toyota dealership? Maybe it was a Supra or something. You never know. I didn't want a Supra. I didn't want a Tundra. We still have the F-150. We still have the BMW. We still have the Raptor. We still have the Ferrari. So now it's going to be very tight in the driveway. No car has been traded in. And don't bother looking at my Instagram post. Don't, don't, don't Brian, Brian started trolling people big time on his Instagram regarding what car I bought. But here it is, ladies and gentlemen. We have a new AMG on the channel, finally. So let's get out on the road. It's cold as hell it is. in Buffalo, New York. And let's see how it drives. Man, I am just so happy to have an AMG back on the channel. I know it's an older version. I've had two W205 C63, 17 and an 18. I've experienced those. I've never ever experienced a 204. I know the interior looks like, you know, it's dated, but I don't care. For me, this is just, it's passion. I love this brand. Check this out, 6.3 liter V8. That is just so amazing. And this car is, I remember when I had the C300 last year, the 2011, the one that we gave away. I really liked that car. And they're essentially, minus the engine and uh, you know suspension and wheels and all that stuff, essentially the same car. And I really enjoy driving that car. This is just so much better than that although it looks kind of the same. It's a 2012, so it has a backup camera, which is something that the BMW doesn't have, and I really wanted that. Even the interior here, this is like piano black trim here. It's not all scratched up. The car just looks really, really good. The transmission is a seven speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters here. They're not as quick shifting as they were in the newer AMGs that I own. But you know what? They're not as slow as I thought they were gonna be either. It's not half bad at all for an older transmission like this. See? That's not bad. <laughs> and this engine, I just love it. For a naturally aspirated engine, it's so torquey, a lot torquier than the M5. And with it being a Benz, it's obviously very refined, the interior and so on. So you don't hear all that much from inside the car, but that is all about to change with the exhaust that we have coming from FI exhaust. We got Brian behind us in the F-150. Maybe we'll uh, take a little detour to Mexico. Maybe, maybe. Look at Brian in the back. Holy crap. That truck looks like a freaking monster. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so after 78 miles, we've got actually pretty good gas mileage, 18.9. I got plenty of gas left, but we have like 150 miles more to go, and the F-150 definitely needs gas. How much gas you got left, B? A little, a little less than half. A little less than half? Oh, I thought you had less than that. A little more than half. <laughs> Put some of that V power in there, B. Get in there. That's nozzle number one. God, I love this thing. God, I love it. It rides so good, too. Whoops, that's not good. So on the first one, I gave him like a three second jump and he took off and I couldn't catch up to him. That truck is seriously fast. But then if I don't give him the jump, I definitely take him in this car. But that, that truck, man, it's impressive. The F-150 is no joke. All right, fellas, it's gonna be the first little tunnel run. I don't know, I don't know how good it's gonna be with stock exhaust, but here we go. It's not bad, yeah, but it can get a whole lot better. All right, so we made it home, finally. Look at that, <laughs> it's a mess. And now Brian's hooped these here, but the truck will sit here 
Ferrari's in there. The Raptor's right. She could pull up a little further, but here's the M5. Uh, but yeah, I'm so a happy. It was definitely a trip. Yeah, it was. We've driven almost 500 miles today. Yeah, with a, crazy. a hitch, which is great. <laughs> <you know? laughs> but I'm so happy with this car, man. I love it. It rides so well. There's going to be tons of driving videos of the new, C well, not new, but new to the channel, new to me, C63 AMG. Yeah, I got to drive it next time. Right? Oh, yeah, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> Um, there might be a hoopty coming here soon as well, so I'll be crashing into this thing. Uh, we need more hoopty. You don't mind, right? Yeah, we, you don't mind. Well, with the other ones, we'll crash the other ones up first. <laughs> All <laughs> right. I got a couple in stock. Yeah. But yeah, there's going to be a review of your truck on my channel now. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Brian's been filming my truck during the whole time he's been driving, so definitely yeah. check out his channel. I'll link it in the description. Yeah, we need more than I expected. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I like your hat, dude. Hey, thanks. I like your hat. You guys, remember, you can go pick up one for yourself at shopautovlog.com. Yeah, it's it's out perfectly. Yeah, man. All right, thanks for uh, yeah. hanging today, it's man. My pleasure. Yeah, we got to get the uh, M3 and the M4, C63. M4. M4, sorry. Yeah. I know you got a coupe you as well. Yep, this is what it's going to look like for some time. We got two Germans, two Americans, and one Italian. Again, yeah, it, it, <laughs> it's packed. Yeah, BMW will eventually be gone, but man, I am so happy to have this car. This is me right here. AMG. I just, I love the brand. When I initially, when I got the Ferrari, you guys probably remember, I said, I wish I could have kept the AMG. Now, this isn't that AMG, but it's like the OG C63 with the 6.2 liter naturally aspirated V8. Bone stock. So the first thing we're going to do, of course, is tint the windows. Like I said, we got an exhaust already in the making. We're gonna get some wheels. We're gonna have fun with this car. It will be modified. Don't know to which extreme extent, but it's definitely gonna get a tune from my friends at Velos Design Works. It's, it's gonna be awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I sure as hell did. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up if you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already. And you want to, please subscribe. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Aren't you guys happy it wasn't a Supra? I'm coming in.